show you how to use the Customer Inquiry screen. The AR Customer Inquiry screen is one of the most useful and powerful tools to use when looking for customer information. It shows the most relevant and key information for any given customer. You can use this screen to open up a customer record for viewing or editing. The customer's credit status is displayed, including pending, outstanding, and overdue balances. You can also look up relevant transaction activity and view and drill down to the source documents in both accounts receivable and order entry. The complete document history for a posted document is available. Let's have a look at the customer inquiry screen. Under Accounts Receivable, select AR Customers and double-click Customer Inquiry. The Customer Inquiry window appears. Let's type a customer number, 1200, to have a look at customer 1200, Ronald Black. On the Profile screen, you will find basic information about the customer. If you would like to edit any information about this customer, you may click on the Drill Down button to the right of the Customer Number field. If we click on the Address tab, we can see the customer's address. The Tax Sales tab displays the tax group the customer belongs to. Under Credit Status, you will find information about the customer's credit status, as well as aging information. Let's have a look at the Ship To tab, which displays the customer's Ship To addresses. To view more details about one of the Ship To locations, you can double-click on it. For example, we double-click on the warehouse to show more information about it. We could even make changes if necessary. Let's go back to the customer inquiry. On the Activity Stats tab, we can see this customer's activity as well as statistics for any given year and period. Let's have a look at the Documents tab. The information found here is particularly useful. For any given document, we can see the transaction history, and it is even possible to drill down to the source document. In order to look at Ronald Black's fully paid documents, we select Include Fully Paid, and we click on the Go button. In our example, we'll look at invoice number 2. When we highlight it, we can find information about the sales order. In addition, we can also see receipts or other transactions such as debit and credit notes that have been applied against this invoice. We can drill down to a specific transaction, like this receipt, by double-clicking on the reference document number. Drilling down to a document takes us to the AR Document Inquiry window, where we could further drill down to the relevant batch by clicking the Drill Down button beside the batch number and the entry number fields. Let's go back to the Customer Inquiry screen. The Receipts tab lists the customer receipts. We can also display refunds, adjustments, pending transactions. Pending transactions are those transactions that exist in an unposted batch. Finally, we will find information about order entry orders, invoices, sales, as well as the inventory control contract pricing. If you have contract prices set up for any items, they will all be displayed here. Great! Congratulations, you now know how to use the Customer Inquiry screen in the Accounts Receipt.